For months, the drone community has been buzzing with one big question. Would the new DJI Mini 5 Pro finally break the magic 250 gram weight limit? This number isn't just a technical detail. For many pilots around the world, it's the difference between freedom and bureaucracy. Stay under 250 grams. And in most countries you can fly with almost no paperwork, no licenses, and no registration. Cross that line, and suddenly you're dealing with forms, fees, and rules that slow you down. That's why drone fans everywhere were worried. The Mini 5 Pro was rumored to come with major upgrades bigger sensors, smarter obstacle avoidance, LID, AR technology, and more advanced processing power. On paper, it looked like all of that extra hardware would push it over the limit. But DJI has surprised everyone. Somehow, they have managed to pack in all of these features and still keep the Mini 5 Pro within that sub 250 gram category. It sounds almost impossible, but it's real. And it completely changes what people can expect from a lightweight drone. Dot think about it this way. For years, if you wanted serious camera performance like a 1 inch sensor you had to buy something much bigger and heavier, those drones always crossed the 500 gram mark or higher, which meant more restrictions for the pilot. But now, DJI has pulled off a kind of engineering magic trick. They've delivered professional grade imaging power in a drone, you can legally fly almost anywhere without extra hassle. That's why this drone is such a big deal. It's not just a small step up from the Mini 4 Pro, it's a complete redef of what mini drones can be. DJI has taken something light, portable, and beginner friendly, and turned it into a tool that can satisfy both hobbyists and professionals. Now let's break down the most important upgrades. The power of lead of the biggest talking points is the new LiDAR obstacle avoidance system. Older minis used visual sensors. These sensors worked fine in good daylight, but they often struggled in tricky conditions like low light, bright glare, fog, or against flat low contrast surfaces. That meant your drone could misjudge its surroundings and end up crashing or making a risky move. LiDAR changes everything. Instead of relying on cameras, it uses rapid pulses of laser light to map the environment in 3D. It doesn't matter if it's day or night, sunny or foggy LiDAR still works. That means safer flights in all kinds of conditions. Imagine landing on a moving boat at dusk, flying near thin wires in the early morning mist, or avoiding obstacles in a dimly lit area. The Mini 5 Pro can now handle these situations with a level of precision that older models simply couldn't match. This upgrade also opens new possibilities for advanced tracking. Whether you're running, biking, or skateboarding, the drone can follow you smoothly without losing sight, even in environments that used to confuse the sensors. For creators who rely on intelligent flight modes, this is a massive step forward. A smarter, more flexible gimbal, another highlight is the gimbal design. The Mini 5 Pro's gimbal can rotate up to 330 degrees. Out of that, about 225 degrees are usable for video capture. That's a huge range compared to older minis. With this flexibility, you can create dramatic corkscrew shots, smooth horizon shifts, and cinematic reveals that were once only possible with larger drones like the Mavic. For series for filmmakers, this means you no longer need to compromise between portability and creativity. The Mini 5 Pro gives you the freedom to experiment with dynamic camera moves without lugging around a heavy drone. Refined. Hardware and design DJI hasn't just focused on sensors. They've also refined the overall hardware for better usability. Propellers now use a simple tap and twist system, making them quicker to swap out. The propeller guards have been redesigned with a rounded, swept back style that not only improves safety, but also enhances efficiency by smoothing airflow. Prop tips are now more aerodynamically shaped, which reduces noise and slightly boosts battery efficiency. This might sound like a small detail, but quieter drones are less intrusive especially in urban environments or when filming wildlife. There's also a new side button that allows you to launch the drone without even picking up the controller. Some leaks suggest that the drone might automatically power on when you unfold it. That level of convenience could be a game changer for spontaneous flying. Imagine unfolding your drone and within seconds, it's ready to take off. The camera upgrade everyone wanted, of course. The star of the show is the new one inch camera sensor. For years, DJI fans have been asking for a big sensor and a lightweight drone Bigger sensors mean better image quality, more detail, better low-light performance, and that smooth depth of field effect that makes your footage look cinematic. The Mini 5 Pro finally delivers. It uses a 1-inch sensor paired with the equivalent of a 24mm lens and an f1.8 aperture. This setup allows more light to enter the camera, which is perfect for evening flights, sunset shots, or indoor environments. For photographers and video- This is the kind of upgrade that makes the Mini 5 Pro feel like a professional tool rather than just a travel gadget. But DJ, I didn't stop there. The drone can record in 4000 at 120 frames per second. That's a small but meaningful jump from the 100 FPs offered by the Mini 4 Pro. For slow motion fans, this means smoother, more detailed footage when capturing fast-moving subjects. Then there's the unique 48mm mode.
This isn't a physical zoom lens, but rather a clever digital crop that uses the large sensor to simulate a tighter field of view. The result is a cinematic, zoomed-in look without losing much image quality. Older minis were limited to wide views, which worked well for landscapes, but weren't ideal for storytelling that focused on people or closer subjects. With this new mode, the Mini 5 Pro gives creators far more flexibility. Flight time and battery performance battery life is always a concern with compact drones. And DJI has managed to squeeze more endurance out of the Mini 5 Pro. It's rated for 36 minutes of flight time. That's only a couple of minutes more than the Mini 4 Pro, but considering the added sensors and processing power, it's actually impressive now. Some people had hoped for a mythical 50-minute battery. That's likely reserved for the heavier plus battery option, which may not keep the drone under the 250-gram limit. Still, 36 minutes is a solid improvement that should satisfy most users, especially when paired with extra batteries. Full, omnidirectional obstacle sensing, safety doesn't stop at LiDAR. The Mini 5 Pro also features full omnidirectional obstacle sensing. This means the drone can see in every direction forward, backward, upward, downward, and sideways. For pilots, this translates into fewer crashes, more confidence, and safer use of intelligent flight modes like active track. When you're running through a forest trail, biking down a mountain path, or skateboarding through city streets, the drone can follow you without panicking or losing track. This level of tracking has usually been reserved for larger, more expensive drones. Now, it's available in a lightweight model. So now that we've gone through the features, the question becomes, how does the Mini 5 Pro really fit into the bigger drone world? Specs on their own are impressive, but it's only when you compare this drone to its competition that the real picture starts to form. And trust me, this is where things get really interesting. Let's start with DJI's own lineup, because that's the first comparison people always make. For years, DJI has played a balancing act across its product lines. The Mini series has been about portability and ease of use. The Air series has been about giving creators more power without going full professional, and then the Mavic line has been the high end. Feature pack series for serious work, dot with the Mini 5 Pro. DJI is blurring those lines. Think about it. This drone has a 1-inch sensor, omnidirectional obstacle avoidance, LiDAR, advanced gimbal, flexibility, and 48mm mode. Those are features we expect from much bigger drones. In many ways, the Mini 5 Pro doesn't just compete with the Mini 4 Pro, taps on the toes of the Air 3, and even gets uncomfortably close to certain aspects of the Mavic line. That's why so many drone enthusiasts are calling it a cinematic beast in disguise dot now. If you own a Mini 4 Pro, you might be asking, is it worth upgrading? On paper, the answer leans toward yes. The jump from a smaller sensor to a 1-inch sensor is huge. It's the kind of upgrade that changes your footage in noticeable ways. Low light, detail retention, color depth all better. Add LiDAR into the mix, and you're talking about safety and reliability that make a real difference in how confidently you can fly. The Mini 4 Pro is still an excellent drone, but once you see the Mini 5 Pro's output, it'll be hard to go back. Now let's step back even further. Why is DJI working so hard to stay under 250 grams? Why not just go heavier and push specs even further? The answer is simple, regulation. Around the world, governments are tightening rules on drones. In the US, in Europe, and in many Asian countries, weight is one of the biggest dividing lines. Under 250 grams often means you're exempt from a lot of restrictions. Go above it, and suddenly you're dealing with registration. No-fly zones, altitude caps, and sometimes even mandatory training. Let's not forget about creators, for YouTubers, filmmakers, influencers, and content professionals. Drones aren't just gadgets, they're tools of the trade. And here's where the Mini 5 Pro really shines. For the first time, you can get professional-level features in a drone that doesn't feel like carrying extra luggage. Imagine hiking into the mountains, or traveling internationally and being able to carry a drone that captures the same quality you'd expect from something twice the size. That's the promise of the Mini 5 Pro. Battery life is part of this conversation too. At 36 minutes, it might not sound groundbreaking, but the balance of endurance and portability is what counts. DJI has clearly optimized this drone for real use where most pilots don't fly continuously until the battery dies. Instead, they capture bursts of content, land, adjust, and launch again. Having a reliable half-hour of flight time with so many sensors running is actually a technical achievement. And speaking of sensors, omnidirectional obstacle detection is one of those things you don't appreciate until you've flown without it. New pilots especially will love the confidence it provides. No more stressing about trees, poles, or wires in the heat of the moment. Combined with LiDAR, the Mini 5 Pro is arguably the safest Mini yet. That's not just marketing talk, DJI, investing in making drones more approachable for everyone. But here's something many people don't think about long-term value. Buying a drone isn't just about specs today, it's about how long the drone stays relevant. DJI has a habit of supporting its flagship products with firmware updates, feature enhancements, and bug fixes for years. 
the Mini 5 Pro, being such a major release, will likely get strong long-term support. That means two or three years down the line, it should still feel modern. And that's something creators love knowing their investment won't be outdated in six months. Still, DJI's reputation and loyal customer base give it a massive advantage. When most people think drones, they think DJI. The company has earned that position by consistently delivering the best balance of performance, reliability, and innovation. The Mini 5 Pro is a reminder of why DJI dominates. They're willing to push engineering limits to give users what they actually want. And let's not forget the creative possibilities. A 1-inch sensor with 48mm mode, omnidirectional sensing, and LiDAR doesn't just add up to better footage. It adds up to confidence. Confidence to try more daring shots. Confidence to fly in more challenging environments confidence to experiment with storytelling. And that's what drones are all about, pushing creative boundaries. So, to wrap this up, the DJI Mini 5 Pro is more than just the next step in the Mini series. It's a statement. It says DJI can innovate under constraints. It says sub 250 grams, doesn't mean compromise. And it says that even in a market with new challengers, DJI still knows how to surprise everyone. If you're a hobbyist, this drone might feel like overkill but in the best way possible. If you're a creator, it might feel like the tool you've been waiting for. And if you're DJI, it's proof that your engineering team can still defy expectations. The Mini 5 Pro isn't just small, it's powerful, it's smart, and it's redefining what Mini means. And in the drone world, that's about as big as it gets.